What is going on internet? My name is Lou and I make Linux videos and I put them on the internet. So a question I get bombarded with all the time in messages either on my Facebook fan page or on uh, here on YouTube is what is my favorite Linux distribution and why? So for those of you who've been following my channel for some time know, and this should be no surprise, Elementary OS Luna. So I figured I'd do a dedicated video on some of the top reasons why I feel as though Elementary OS Luna is the very best distribution of Linux for me. So first and foremost, design. I feel as though Elementary OS Luna has a specific goal and that is to focus on the user experience and make a very well designed Linux desktop. And quite frankly, I really feel as though they've achieved that. For me, in this desktop environment conundrum we have in Linux uh, today, I feel as though that Pantheon, the desktop environment that Elementary OS Luna uses, is by far the best in both design, functionality, and how uh, I like to get my work done for my particular workflow. So, for instance, we can go to system settings. Now, for anyone who's ever used Mac OS X, this should be very, very similar. And you'll probably agree with me that Elementary OS Luna takes a lot of cues from Mac OS X. And, you know, honestly, that's not such a bad thing. I think as long as you don't take an idea or a concept and make it worse, um, that you're necessarily doing anything wrong. I think it's great to be inspired by something. I think if you look at all of the um, artists or even athletes or you know musicians, people all were inspired by someone else and they took certain subtle cues or um, things that they liked from these other individuals and incorporated it into their masterpieces. So I don't necessarily think that a lot of the Apple inspiration is a bad thing um, because I feel like a lot of thought went into how the elementary team was going to implement it themselves. So I think that system settings and a lot of these settings that you see here are what is referred to as plugs and they've actually, the, the elementary team has developed a whole platform on how developers can make their own plugs um, for the system settings here which I think is fantastic. But even the way everything is all laid out makes very, very good sense. And I love the idea of plugs. The operating system itself comes with a dock, which is also known as Plank. I am a huge dock fan, so I really like the use of a dock in uh, the operating system. And, you know, one could argue you could always install something like Docky. Um, in any Linux distribution. However, I like when things that are conducive to my workflow or built right into and supported by and developed by um, the distribution authors themselves. So Plank is a very simple doc, but it's um, something that gets the job done. And I love the addition of a doc built in by default and that's actually written um, by the developers themselves and included as a piece of the operating system. Now, that's one of the other things I'd like to get to in that Elementary OS Luna is actually written in one programming language, and that would be Vala. It's a GTK language, and you're going to find that not only is the operating system, many components of it, written in Vala, but all of the core applications. So when you actually start to use elementary, you're going to feel this cohesiveness between the operating system and the apps, which again, I think is missing in a lot of modern day Linux distros because a lot of distros just aren't making their own core applications. I'm using one of these applications now, which happens to be Midori, which is their uh, elementary's own web browser. So this is just one of the great applications that's included in the core apps for this particular distribution. One of the other things that elementary focuses on, and I think oftentimes gets left out of Linux distros, is making software that is beautiful. I think that the aesthetic uh, appeal of software is oftentimes neglected, and people merely focus on functionality, which is obviously important because if something looks good but doesn't work, it's pretty much useless. However, that doesn't mean that software all has to be ugly. Um, and I think that it's a gorgeous operating system and that the design is very consistent between the operating system and the core applications itself. 
And right over here, you'll see that um, there's even a mention of this on the elementary website, which states that elementary is crafted by designers and developers who believe that computers can be easy, fun, and gorgeous. By, uh, by putting design first, we ensure we're not compromising on quality or usability. I really feel as though um, elementary is doing the the best job in terms of a distribution and focusing on the user experience. And again, we can come back to their Apple inspiration because I feel as though the, the best commercially developed software in terms of user experience is Mac OS X. So we also, again, have core applications. I see some distributions starting to include their own core applications, but I feel as though elementary is doing the best job including a suite of core applications uh, in their desktop uh, for Luna and again all written in the same language in that cohesiveness is can be seen all throughout those particular applications um, I feel as though that um, this menu system that Luna has uh, works really really well uh, it's basic and the functionality is very good and I feel as though the the way that um, you can interact with the desktop desktop rather using hot corners as well as switching workspaces is a really great design works awesome it's very fluid and again it fits right into my workflow now elementary is not without its flaws by any stretch of the imagination now we're gonna go into a few things that I think could be better about elementary so elementary OS Luna is based on Ubuntu 12.04. Now this could be considered a good thing by some and could be considered one of Luna's faults. So say what you will about Ubuntu. I think that the, the worst part of Ubuntu is its desktop. I think its repositories are very good and I think that its software compatibility is very good in terms of using the DEB um, format for packaging software. However, 12.04 is a fairly old release. We just uh, came upon Ubuntu 13.10's release, so we're looking at some older software. Now, when I install Elementary OS Luna, I have to oftentimes add quite a few PPAs to get more up-to-date versions of the software that I use on a regular basis, which is okay. However, it would be nice if Luna was built on a more recent version of Ubuntu. Um, also, uh, 1204 does not come with full disk encryption, so during the install process, I cannot encrypt my install. Um, that is, in my opinion, kind of a downside. I like the idea of being able to do full disk encryption on my install. Unfortunately, uh, Ubuntu 1204 um, does not come with that option. Android. I am an Android user. Um, out of the box, Android support is kind of flaky. Um, there are some workarounds. However, for me, I just download the Android SDK and I use that to push and pull files off of my Android device. Um, it would be nice to have better plug and play support for Android, um, which is present in more recent versions of Ubuntu. However, in 1204, that is kind of flaky, like I mentioned previously. Um, uh, also, graphics. Um, now this is an issue I think regardless of what Linux distribution you use, however Luna, because it is again based on Ubuntu 12.04, comes with a 3.2 kernel. Now what that means is when I install Elementary, my graphics are all messed up. The resolution is out of whack and um, to get something more up to date, I am currently using the Novu driver, I have to actually go and either compile a kernel myself or I have to go to the Ubuntu kernel PPA, which is not a big deal. Um, I do have videos covering uh, how to do this if anyone is interested. Um, but I do have to go ahead and download the, uh, you know, a more recent kernel. In this case, I'm using 3.11.6. It's the most recent stable kernel. Um, and then I also have to add another PPA. And that is the Xorg Edgers PPA. So I can get a more recent version of the Xorg uh, video display server 
to work with my new kernel. Once uh, these two things are done, uh, my graphics are leaps and bounds better and everything is fixed and working in proper order. However, it is kind of a pain to have to do that. And again, it goes back to being built upon Ubuntu 12.04. I would love in the future to see elementary rebased on something like maybe Debian or, you know, I would even take Fedora over uh, Ubuntu. Um, but that's neither here nor there. So, uh, again, there are some drawbacks to elementary. However, uh, if you're looking for, in my opinion, the most um, design focused user experience on the Linux desktop currently, I believe that's elementary OS Luna. Um, and for me, it fits great into my workflow. I'd be interested to see your favorite Linux distribution and why. So in the comment section below, do me a favor, leave a comment. Um, let me know what you're currently using or your favorite Linux distribution and uh, leave me a few reasons why um, you feel that it's, it's the best choice for you. Uh, maybe even leave a video response to this video. I'm curious as to why you guys use the distribution that you do. Um, so hopefully that answers a few questions for you guys who, who ask me all the time. Um, and again, right now, elementary OS Luna fits my needs. Does that mean in the future that it's always going to do that? No. And if it stops, I'm by no means a fanboy, so I will use at that point in time, um, if elementary fails to meet my needs, I'll find something else that does. But as of right now, two thumbs up to the elementary project. I always keep coming back to Luna. Um, and again, for me, most of it is the desktop environment Pantheon, and then also the focus on the user experience and the design of the operating system itself. But that's it, guys. Hopefully this answered some of your questions. Uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you like the content, be sure to subscribe. I do release uh, regular content, Linux-related, um, oftentimes. Occasionally, I'll sneak something else in there. Um, but again, if you like the content, subscribe to my channel. And until next time, we'll talk to you guys later.